the not Mosasaurus. Wait, remember that image ages ago? It was like, oh my gosh, Megalodon, guys. It's Megalodon. It's Megalodon. Oh my god, it's Megalodon. Well, we finally have it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2, where today I thought I'd finally do it. I thought I'd give in and cover Jurassic World Evolution 2 mods, yeah! Why? Why, you might ask? The same reason all the other YouTubers do it. We've got to have money. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, we are showcasing, or I've sort of looked at a lot of the aquatics that have been made by the lovely modding community and as many as I can put into a park without replacing other ones. Because for the time being, there's only a small limited pool of aquatic creatures to replace. And like I said right now, the um, modders haven't really managed to work out how to add extra dinosaurs into the game. And because Jurassic World Evolution 2 is not even a month out of release, the, um, yum, 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 yum. the amount of uh, aquatic creatures that we have in the game right now is very small. So we can only replace so many without having to replace mods replacing the creatures. And at the moment, mods haven't actually managed to work out how to add new dinosaurs into the game just yet. And of course, we're going to get new DLCs down the line. So before we know it, there'll be even more dinosaurs to replace. I would imagine we're going to get more aquatics and more glaciers. Well, I was going to say glaciers. Maybe. I mean, Camp Cretaceous. Oh, there we go. So let's have a look at our first mod. I can't even remember what I put in. I also don't even remember what uh what is what so or even if it's worked i haven't even tested it and i was expecting it to break there and here we have the beautiful defectiveness well maybe beautiful is a strong word oh my god absolutely beautiful of course like the animations are gonna be not perfect because it you know it is an ichthyosaur hiding in a defectiveness skin or you could say it's been eaten by it. Look at it there. Oh, that looks so cool. It's little fin sticking out of the water. That is awesome. Okay, this mod was created by the very talented uh, Hyper SGYT. Um, now, a lot of these mods, oh god, it is proper sticking out the surface. Look at its face. Uh, a lot of these mods, I don't know how many, we'll switch to a different one, have actually been created by a uh, like an actual person, as in they've modeled it, you know, they've done all that. Or if they've just ripped it from a separate game or some other sort of media. Um, so I am, I mean, this is what it says on the Nexus has been created by and uploaded by. So that is who I'm going to praise for adding it to the game. Because we as a community, as soon as we knew Aquatics were coming into it, our minds ran rampant with a plethora of different ideas and things that we could have in the game. And I knew. It was only going to be a matter of time until if Jurassic World Evolution gave it to us, uh, as Jeff Goldblum says, uh, life finds a way. And here we have an absolutely beautiful Zephactinus. It fits in. You wouldn't even know, apart from, you know, Chris Pratt, oh, sorry, Owen Grady saying, Ugh, is that you would just think it fits in so well. And how many games have we honestly had where we can make or even, you know, contain and make a park with aquatic freaking creatures. Well, Zoo Tycoon, maybe, if that. Maybe that was only mods as well. But this, oh, it's so cool to finally see our fishy boys getting some sort of, I don't know, spotlight shone on them. Because it's gorgeous. I love this. Well, anyway, that is the fact and it's looking beautiful there. Now, let's go on to Lyplurdon. Oh, we get the bad shot. I don't even know what this is. Oh my god, that's right! Oh, I forgot about this! It's the- Oh, I was thinking, wait, what? This is Archelon. Oh, we, we definitely have to release one and see the, the different animation for it. Uh, where it's underwater, because that is the best one. That one's a bit of a shame to see it like that. Uh, but look! So if you didn't know, Archelon was a giant prehistoric creature. Um, or oh, turtle, I should say. Um, that... Oh, oh, is that... Is that Nigel? Is that Nigel Marvin? Oi, Nigel! Get off that bloody turtle, damn it! So apart from being Nigel's favourite thing in the world to ride, um, this is a, one of the biggest, largest, uh, biggest, mice of biggest ever uh, sea turtle that's ever existed. Um, so, I mean, it is a chronosaur, 
So it's going to be, or Light Pluridon, sorry. It's going to be really interesting to see how this interacts with Zephactinus because I think it can kill Zephactinus, or at least, you know, uh, Ichthyosaurus in this sort of area. Um, so we're just going to release them all. I don't think they have multiple different skins. There are a few mods that do. I love the description. It just says, Big Turtle. So this was created by Max Veers 23 and uploaded by Max Veers 23. If they've made this themselves, it looks great. It's fantastic. And again, just another creature that either will eventually come with a DLC or it was only a matter of time until mods put it in. And it looks gorgeous. Just, ah, oh, oh, this is why. This is why I was looking forward to, you know, actually having aquatic creatures in the game. Yes, we only get a handful of this at launch, but it's the modern community which really shines with this. And that's where we're going to get everything we want. And speaking of everything we want, how about we move on to the biggest thing that we have to offer? Let's go to the not Mosasaurus. That's right. Wait, remember that image ages ago? It was like, oh my gosh, Megalodon, guys. It's Megalodon. It's Megalodon. Oh my god, it's Megalodon. Well, we finally have it. And, well, it's not, you know, a Mosasaur. As you can quite clearly see, this is the freaking Megalodon, which would have fed, I think, on Archelon? Or is Archelon a bit too early? No, it, I think it might have been too early. This would have fed on um, giant whales. Whales! And it is Mahusev. This is created by... Created by and uploaded by LA Studios. And it isn't what I would have expected from Megalon, which is just a, you know, maybe a bigger sized great white shark. Uh, and this one actually comes with its own skin. So if you do want to put a different skin on it, you can. Oh, we got, oh, we got fights already. Woo! No, Zephactinus. Oh, baby, no, it's all crumpled. Killed by an Archelon. Oh, 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 there it is. The Archelon hunting down the fishies. Would this have happened in real life? Would they have even coexisted? God knows. I don't know. Maybe actually, I don't know. You idiot. We'll have to watch sea monsters again, won't we? So let's not waste any more time and release another modded creature. What was once formerly known as a plesiosaur is now another turtle. This as you can see, there's some weird glitches going on with the, uh, the skin stretching and pulling. Uh, this is just a regular green sea turtle. And again, beautiful because now not... Oh, he's so adorable. And this was created by Leaf and uploaded by Leaf Productions. Um, now, Leaf, I think I've seen a lot of aquatics and a lot of mods created by them. A lot of disturbing mods mainly pertain to shirtless um, characters like uh, Jeff Golden, which is no no stranger there, but uh, shirtless Cabot Finch and, and the like. Very interested to see uh, what, what the thought process was there. But uh, here we go, because of this person, we have a beautiful sea turtle. And before I got sidetracked, the, the amazing thing about mods is maybe you don't want a prehistoric park. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, but you can fill it with stuff like this or even have a habitat where you just want prey items, for instance, or to make a more realistic uh, oceanic kind of environment. Some sea turtles, some sharks. There you go. And it also looks like this, uh, this Archelon is maybe going to die to a Mosasaur. I think it is. Oh, the most of the Megalodon gets the Archelon. Oh, beautiful. Although it didn't bite a big chunk out of it. Well, because it, obviously it can't. But, ah, oh, yes. And the animations, they work. They, I mean, oh, this is brilliant. But are we done with mods for this video? No, we have one more to showcase. And that is the Tylosaur. Well, maybe arguably one of the most let downish kind of aquatics in the game. It's like a Mosasaur. It's uglier, not as well designed in my personal opinion. And it's kind of like, eh, if I want a Mosasaur, I'd get a Mosasaur. Here we have the Tylosaur. Yes, it is actually Tylosaur, but not as you know it. No, this. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, ooh, okay. Oops. Well, I put something else in. The Swimming Spino. This just is a recent release, actually. And oh, this is amazing. This is the Spinosaurus in the Lagoon mod created by Zach or uploaded by 
Dr. Zach Wu. Maybe a more scientifically accurate Spinosaur in the game. Maybe it doesn't move as well as, you know, it, it, I mean, it's based on a Tylosaur, right? And a Tylosaur doesn't have any, well, it does have limbs, but obviously they've rigged it to each limb and it's not going to move much. But let's say you wanted a Spinosaur, like a, a scientifically accurate Spinosaur that technically swims. And because we can't make depth different, like, you know, water different depth in game. Well, you can use a lagoon and you've got yourself a Spinosaur that swims in the water. So I'm just going to release some more Zephactinus into the pr into the fry or into the prey, into the fry, into the dark fry, just to see if we can see some cool animations from the rest of them. Maybe a better view? Yes, this is what I wanted to see. This is way better view. Look at all the turtles. All of the turtles. So cute. Actually, with that, yeah. Oh, oh are they saying hello? This is one of the coolest animations, even with the, the regular Chronosaur. And whatever you replace it with, you're going to get a cool animation with too. And now we wait. And it looks like that Mosasaur might be going for the Plesiosaur. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, we got the Megalodon going for the turtle. Look at that. What a shot. Hold on. We... Okay, guys, I don't normally do this, but we, this is the thumbnail. We, we have to have this as the thumbnail. Oh, wow. How many rows of teeth does it have? Jesus. I mean, oh, we could also go in the water too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that for a shot. Wow. I mean, oh, this is so cool. I can't wait. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Frontier put in Megalodon into the game. It's not the first time we've seen Megalodon in the Jurassic World canon or franchise because we've had it in Jurassic World the game as well. So, and Jurassic Park builder. Who remembers that relic? Um, so, you never know. Oh, oh no, bless it. Oh, it's next to the dead body. Oh, oh, that looks so cool. And then, yum, just eating it all. And there it goes. Oh, wait. Oh, it did technically still count. It just vanished. And then Megalodon eats a turtle. Oh, yep, yep. Eaten, eaten by the Archelon. Oh, bless it. Every bone in his body broken. Oh, Oh, I think it is. Oh, Spinosaur takes out the Zephactinus. Oh, beautiful. But I think Spinosaur, Tylosaur, can also take out the Archelon in here too. Oh, I see this. I see him going for it. Is he going to get him? Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, Ichthyosaurs don't really stand much of a chance against most things in the game, it must be said. Oh, oh, I just saw it there. The Spinosaur going for the Archelon. Oh, yeah, its jaw definitely couldn't kill it, but uh, yeah, Tylosaur definitely could. Oh, and when one senses blood in the water, there's another one not far behind. And another Archelon bites the dust from the Spinosaur. Oh, I completely forgot we can have it eat from the uh, the feeder because it is technically a mosasaur. Oh, we've got to set one of those up. Heck yeah, there we go. It's like the trailer for Jurassic World. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, wow. It slowed my game down to like 22 frames a second. How did it do that? There will be a shark in these here waters. I wonder what they're going to do for the uh, Megalodon design though. Because they, they will do it. It, they'd have to be stupid not to do a Megalodon. They'd have to be. God, you could do so many documentary style videos, couldn't you now? Just make it like a huge lagoon and you can have... Oh, it'd be a shame because then you also need it out of the water. Like, plesiosaurs going onto land or something like that. Ah, yeah, I guess. Or maybe they never went in, on land or something. Lord knows. But now you've got mods. You can have a Megalodon as well. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Right, let's watch it regular speed. From the point of view of the Megalodon. Here we go. Let's try and get the best shot we can here. Uh, uh, um, cheers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, I had a really good shot and you get so close and then, boom, you get catapulted. But look at the... Look at the water there. Oh, wow. See what I mean? I'm like, I'm really far away. And all of a sudden, I'm really close. And then, boom. Down it goes. Oh, that is so cool. All right, here we are back in the game, except for this time, the Ichthyosaur has been replaced by the Great White Shark. That's right. We're going to have the Great Whites and Megalodons all together. Look at that. 
Maybe, you, you know, you just want an enclosure filled with a mosasaur and grow a chuck, so you don't want to feed it. It wants to hunt. Here's the Great Whites. A lovely mod created by a leaf and tripwire. This is Leaf Productions. Again, bringing in a lovely Great White Chuck. It doesn't actually look like the one that um, Jurassic World Evolution has already, Jurassic World Evolution 2, uh, for the feeder. This looks completely different. And of course, we, you know, we have to release the one and only the Megalodon into the mix. But Megalodon isn't going to be the only creature or big creature coming into it. No, we're going to have something else. It is in this one. Okay, are you ready? We had Tylosaur, but we had a Spino. This time, however, we actually have Tylosaurus, but not as you know it. Or maybe once as you remember it. That's right. This is the Tylosaur from Jurassic Park, the game. <laughs> Look at it there in all of its bony glory. Now, part of me wonders if, you know, Tylosaur was just this and maybe Frontier got, you know, the, the go ahead from Universal to implement this Tylosaur. How happy people would have been? A little acknowledgement to another franchise or would people have just said, called it lazy? We'll never know, but here it is. Oh, look, there's a little gray white nibbling at his fins there. Uh, this one being brought to us by a name that we quite more well, alive recognized, Sweetener. So thank you, Sweetener, for adding this into the game. It looks gorgeous. Look at that. It's like you could recreate Dominion. Just have, you know, great white sharks, maybe hammerheads or whatever, sea turtles, and then add one of these into the mix. And it looks like modern, you know, the modern world, but with a tireless. It's kind of like flying out the water ominously. Are we about to see the Megalodon lay down the chomp on a great white? It looks like he was going for something, but I just didn't know what it was. Yeah, look at that. That weird little pivot tells me it's definitely going for something. It just can't. Oh, oh, the Tylosaur and the Megalodon. Oh, that looked gorgeous. And it killed the Tylosaur. Oh, oh, that was amazing. Never mind, I think we found the thumbnail. Oh, that looked so cool. Oh, here we go. Tylosaur eating a great white shark, I think. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, a little bit mismatched. Oh, it didn't eat it whole. I thought it would have. Oh. oh, okay, fair enough. I mean, this one definitely could have, but I guess it's still an ichthyosaur, isn't it? Oh, well, if you ever wanted to see a megalodon eat something else, like a, uh, a plesiosaur. Oh, oh. Oh, going for its neck and pulling it. Oh, wow. It's definitely dead. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely dead. Oh, that was cool. Like, bit onto its flipper and they went for its head and sort of, like, broke it. Wow. I don't even think I've seen Mosasaur do that. Whoa, lovely. Out of the water. Oh, and while that's happening, the other one also gets chomped on. Oh, brilliant. Then that leaves one great white shark left. Oh, because did they want to fight each other? Oh, they did. Oh, gorgeous. Uh. Right, release more sharks. Uh, if only there was a mechanic that was a little bit like that. But of course, you don't want to release ichthyosaurs because they cost loads of money. You've got to dig up. You've got to research all that stuff. So if there was a way to just have sharks. Just saying, if it was cheaper just to release some sharks. Should probably do it. All right, here it is. Great White being killed by a Megalodon. Whoa. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, gorgeous. And there you have it, guys. That is... Well, that's a... It's like... Yeah. That was a lovely little showcase of all of the... Or most of the aquatic creatures that have been added by the beautiful and talented... Uh, modern community. Thank you again, guys, for adding this and just adding that extra bit of breath of fresh air and life into Jurassic World Evolution as a franchise in the whole anyway. So if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.